coming up at 6 o'clock. Where do Alaskans go to play college football? A small number make it to Division I programs, but the majority don't. Coming up at 6, Lars Peterson found one school loaded with Alaskans. Small Town USA, otherwise known as Valley City, North Dakota. I'm Lars Peterson. Tonight on the News Hour, find out why this small community has become an Alaska pipeline for college football. I knew there was a, some kids from Alaska, but I didn't know we had like over 15. So it feels, you feel comfortable knowing guys are from the same place you are. First you're just like, huh, that guy got away from me in high school once, you know, kind of. A little chip on your shoulder, but then you meet them and you know you're comfortable out there because you know they're they're a good football player. That's Valley up all City, the Valley City, North all Dakota. Right. <laughs> Athletically, the state of Alaska continues to pretty much be an untapped resource. But as Lars Peterson reports, there's one college in the lower 48 that's made a recruiting from Alaska a top priority. It's a family atmosphere here in this town. 2,800 miles southeast of Alaska, you'll find Valley City, North Dakota, a small college town located in between Fargo and the state capital of Bismarck. In the fall, there's two constants in this small community of just over 6,000, the wind, All right, here we go, let's go, let's go, and Valley City football. They've really been good for football in the state of Alaska. An NAIA program with strong Alaska connections. What happened, I think, essentially was a couple of us just kind of straggled down there. Soldatna coach Sarge Truesdale is one of those connections. Before leading the Stars to their first state football title in school history, Truesdale helped Valley City win a conference title as a player in 1996. We ended up having eight guys my uh, senior year that started, that were from Alaska, that started out of 22 starting positions at Valley City, and I think they thought, man, there's a gold mine up there. Valley City State University has been in Alaska Pipeline since 1993. Since then, 79 athletes have played here at Lock and Field, including 17 this year, which makes up 20% of the Vikings roster. It's nice having, you know, from all over the state, kids you never knew in high school or played against, but now you get to be friends with them. Nikiski's Billy Anderson is one of those 17 and one of six Alaskans who start for the Vikings. Hello. Others on the roster include Michael and Jason Hollett from North Pole. Michael, the team's starting left tackle, Jason, the Vikings tight end. And I realize it's kind of weird that there's 17 of us down here from Alaska, 3,000 miles away, and it's kind of interesting to sit back and think, how did we all end up here? Right, you can check three sky or cloud. Vikings head coach Dennis McCulloch can answer that question. It's the quality of kids that we get. McCulloch, now in his 13th season at Valley City, has been visiting Alaska just as long. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. With ties to the all-Alaska football camp at Colony, Coach Mack and his staff were the first ones to really start recruiting around the state. To be honest, 13 years ago when I arrived, I would have, I would have asked the same question, you know, why would kids coming from all the way to Alaska to play in North Dakota? Well, it's just because you can't play college football in Alaska. <laughs> so they have to go. And, and so, you know, it's been supplied us a great opportunity, a great place to recruit. And for those who've traveled that road, more than anything, their enrollment at Valley City means a few more years of football. <laughs> I saw it as a good chance to play college football. Palmer's Michael Weber admits he probably wasn't good enough to play at a higher level, the but as the team starting defensive bread? back, that's no, okay. I don't think I'd rather be at a better place than Valley City here. The way our team gets together, I've never been a part of a team that's like family. Great opportunity for us to be in a role tomorrow. And as any college student knows, it's nice to rely on family, no matter the distance. Lars Peterson, Channel 2 Sports. Good job. And tomorrow we'll see how the Alaskans fare as Valley City takes on Minot State. Oh, that's a great story. Right. Thanks, Carp. Thanks, Carp. Coming up on the news hour, we continue our series on Valley City State University, a home away from home for 17 Alaskans this year. The school has been the other Alaska pipeline since 1993. Tonight, Lars Peterson shows how former Alaskan football stars have adapted the college game when the Vikings take on Minot State. The change in the playbook for offense, it becomes 20 times bigger and the terminology is completely different. Uh, a play call might take two seconds or one second in high school, like our favorite play was 27 cross buck, and we all knew what we were doing, and here you gotta take four or five seconds in the huddle to get through a play sometimes. The longer you're in coaching, and the longer you deal with kids, and you see them go back to their communities, and then come back and help you in other ways, not just what they did for you on the football field, and that, that's the greatest rewards I can see right now. That's coming up on the news. 
There is no outlet for high school football players to move to the college game here in Alaska, but there is in North Dakota in part two of our The Other Alaska Pipeline series. Lars Peterson shows us how 17 Alaskans have adapted to the college game at Valley City State University. All right, bikes, game day. It's early morning at Valley City State University, and you don't have to look hard to find an Alaskan connection. As a freshman, it was it was rough. Didn't really know what to expect. North Pole Sean Ritchie is one of 17 Alaskans on the Vikings roster and one of They're six who start like for the team. Last. You better meet physical with physical. The more I'm here, the more, you know, it's home. Ritchie isn't the only Alaskan who's passed through this facility. Since 1993, 79 athletes from the last frontier have suited up for the Vikings. A transition from high school ball to college, which isn't always the easiest. In high school, you know, I played both ways, so now just playing one way. I'm just as tired as playing half the game. A nearly perfect day for football here at Lockett Field. Let's go! Get it done! On this day, Minot State is the Vikings opponent, a game that will ultimately decide whether or not Valley City stays in contention for the conference championship. In the first half, things start slow for the Vikings offense, which includes North Pole's Michael Hollett at left tackle no gain on the play. and his brother Jason at tight end. Ultimately, though, the team had to rely on its defense, where again, Alaska is well represented. Play action, Meyer going to throw in the front. Pass is picked off by the Vikings. John Ritchie steps in front of that pass. The competition may be bigger and faster at the college level for the Alaskans, but one thing's the same. They still get the opportunity to continue playing football. That wasn't the case for Eagle River's John Grohl, at least on this weekend. The Vikings starting wide receiver tested both positive and negative for mono the week before Valley City was supposed to play this game. With the third test still in the lab, the senior who played at Chugiak could only watch. It's one of the most difficult things I've had to do so far this year. In the second half, Valley City again relied on its defense. Graham trying to exploit the corner, not down for maybe a yard in the play. Michael Weber, one of those Alaskan products being featured today. Backfield drink water. Drink water looking for the hole. Spins into the end zone. Touchdown. Despite being held to just 25 yards rushing and 63 passing, the game would be decided in the final seconds, where Valley City comes up short, losing 19-14. A disappointing day for not only the Alaskans, but for their family, their team. We're one big family and stuff, and we play as one. Everybody does their part, and we'd be successful, and sometimes days go the way they did today. If you're successful, everybody celebrates together, and you lose, you better support each other. Otherwise, it, you know, it's, it, it doesn't. And that's, we've been very lucky with getting those types of kids. And that's Valley City Football, a small community in North Dakota that has been a home away from home for Alaskans for the last 13 years. Lars Peterson, Channel 2 Sports. By the way, turns out Grohl didn't have mono, and he was able to finish his season on the field. As for the, uh, the team, they finished with a 35-33 win over uh, South Dakota State. Uh, their final game of the year, they were six and four overall. Seems like a nice group of guys. Yeah. Alaskans, man. Mm -hmm. Good kids. Yeah, thanks.